This is reporter Mark Muller walking with a local guide down a dirt road impassable by car in the Nicaraguan town of Esteli, where NJ Advanced Media tracked fugitive preacher Gregorio Martinez. Martinez, a former deacon at 3rd Bethesda Pentecostal Church in Union City, gained a loyal following and a reputation for his animated sermons and casting out churchgoers' demons. But Martinez's career as a preacher seemed to end when the Dominican Republic native was convicted in February 2015 of sexually assaulting a 13-year-old boy, the son of a church member. The jury took just 30 minutes to deliver the verdict of guilty. During and after his trial, Martinez was charged with the attempted sexual assaults of three more young men, all church members. Released on bail to await sentencing and possible additional trials, Martinez vanished. Like so many interesting stories, we just we, we got a tip. A uh, tip was emailed to us that this uh, this fugitive uh, had he'd been convicted, that he fled, and that uh, he he was uh, taking refuge at a church in Esteli, Nicaragua, which is uh, about two hours north of the capital, Managua. It's a it's a mountainous region. It's uh, an area that's known for cigar production, and it's a big tourism place for cigars. We were down there for about five days, and first we went to this church called uh, Iglesia Ebenezer and uh, spoke with the pastor and parishioners. Uh, Martinez had left, so in hunting forum we went from church to church to church. Last we heard, there were two people, two pastors, who said that one of those pastors drove Martinez to the airport in Managua early on February 1st. They left the church at 4 a.m and he was in the company of a pastor from New Jersey, according to those two pastors in Nicaragua. Uh, Where is he now? Wish we knew. Uh, he never saw him get on a plane. He dropped them both at the airport. He could be in Nicaragua. He could be anywhere. We're not sure where he is. The trail went cold for us. So what, what was Martinez doing in He had ties to the Assemblies of God, which is the world's largest Pentecostal denomination. He had become friends with pastors up here in New Jersey, and there is a pipeline of missionaries and money between churches in New Jersey and, and churches in Nicaragua. Uh, it's very evangelical. They want to build new churches to, to challenge the Catholic Church, which has traditionally held sway down there. So he hooked up with these pastors in New Jersey, and he was given a letter of recommendation to go as a missionary, where this letter eased his way into this community and into this church. And then when word gets out about his conviction here in the U.S. It started bubbling up after he had a, a birthday party down there. And uh, it was a lavish celebration with 200 to 300 people. But the interesting thing about it is he told everyone, no pictures. No one take any pictures. And that started getting people a little bit suspicious. So uh, a handful of people started Googling him. Uh, the pastor said he became suspicious of him as well because he didn't, have a, he didn't have his wife with him. And in that culture, if you're a minister, it's very important to have your wife with you. Wives are often co-pastors. So the pastor said he confronted Martinez. He, the pastor learned about his past and confronted him. And he said he wanted him gone. Uh, and within a week, Martinez was gone. Law enforcement is still looking for him. Uh, the U.S. Marshals are looking for him. They're working with the Hudson County Prosecutor's Office. I think they are in the dark right now where he is. Uh, last I spoke to a spokesman for the Prosecutor's Office, he said they believe he's somewhere in Central America. Uh, but of course, there's no guarantee that he hasn't slipped across a border, that he hasn't gone to Cuba, that he hasn't gone to some other country where extradition is a difficult issue.